here's a little memory trick for helping you remember a few of the polyatomic ions. Now, uh, I know you're going to have them on your periodic table for grade 10, but as you get into more chemistry, it is expected that you know these things, and sometimes having little memory tricks can help. So, here's a statement. Nick the camel ate clam supper in Phoenix. This is the statement that we're going to use to help us as a little memory trick, or mnemonic as sometimes they're called. So when we're looking at this example, the capital letter, so the N, the C, in this case the CL, the S, and the P, tell us what element is the non-metal in our polyatomic. The number of consonants tells us the number of oxygens in the polyatomic. And the number of vowels gives you the charge. So let's try an example. The N gives us nitrogen. There are three consonants, so we have three oxygens, and there's one vowel, so the charge is negative one. The C in camel becomes our nonmetal. There's three consonants, so there's three oxygens, and there's two vowels, so the charge is two negative. The next one is a fun one, CL. Okay, and clam becomes the CL in the polyatomic. We've got three consonants, so we've got three oxygens with this, and one vowel, which gives us the charge negative one. So this represents our chlorate. The S in supper, and we've got four oxygens, because there's four consonants in supper, and we see two vowels, so we know the charge is two minus. So that gives us the polyatomic sulfate. And last but not least, the P in Phoenix is used for one of the polyatomics. We have four consonants, so we've got four oxygen atoms. And we know that there are three vowels in Phoenix, so the charge is three minus. That gives us our phosphate polyatomic. So that's a quick way to help you remember nitrate, carbonate, chlorate, sulfate, and phosphate. So if you can remember those polyatomics, it makes your life a little bit easier.